Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Bright Ops, and welcome to... I, w I would say something new, but this chat... this is... This is a game called Mordheim. For those who have followed my channel for... Well, a while, or have at least investigated how far back it goes, you would know that Mordheim was... Basically what started this channel. It was the first series I ever did, was a Mordheim yeah! run for the human mercenaries. Though this time around, due to... Well, I did a number generator with the, th with the four crews I haven't done a series on yet, and we came up with the Witch Hunters. And... Well, here we go. The Order of the Templars of Sigma was founded in the early days of the Empire. Commonly known as Witch Hunters, these warriors root out evil where it hides among men. Depraved chaos cults, hideous mutants, the abominable undead, witches and sorcerers pra practicing their black arts, even the insidious Skaven have been unmasked and destroyed by the zealots' efforts of Witch Hunters. To join the Order is to accept a violent and dangerous life. Fear and mercy alike are qualities no Witch Hunter can allow within himself. Only unwavering faith in Sigma. These warriors have come to Mordheim to redeem it from its corruption, or see it purged in fire. And we'll start off at rank zero. We can go higher, but no. Zero it is. Gaze upon this blighted place, my brother. Has such abomination ever been visited upon Sigma's glorious empire before? Well can I understand those who would hearken to the claim that we are being punished for straying from his light. Forgive me, brother. I forget to introduce myself. I am High Capitula, Wilhelm Krieger. Long has my family sent its sons to serve the Order of the Silver Hammer, but I felt called to a different path, and took the oaths of the Order of the Anvil. The ways of our God are many. However, here I am fighting beside you all the same. For what man of courage and conscience could sit idle in Wolfenburg Cathedral when our grand Theogenist has proclaimed Sigmar's punishment upon Mordheim, the city of the damned? For such this place has become, draws all that is evil to it. Here the taint of chaos has gone to ground. Abominable cults of the possessed have risen, flocking to these ruins to celebrate the depravity that has consumed their souls. The vile underfolk, the loathsome skaven, slink through the desolation. The heretical sisters of Sigma cloak their iniquities in the name of our god. Opportunistic mercenaries loot the rubble, searching for shards from the hammer of Sigmar. It is that theft which alarms the Grand Theogenist most. Our duty here is twofold. The evils that manifest Mordheim must be purged by sword and flame. The wordstone shards from the comet must be recovered. Only Sigmar's temple has the wisdom to safely harness the powers of the shards. Only we have rightful claim to them. The wealth the wordstone can bring to the temple will make us strong enough to bring an end to the division that wrecks the Empire and unite mankind once more under a single ruler. All glory to mighty Sigmar! that he has chosen us for this sacred duty. And we meet our, he our hero character for this campaign. And of course we have the vet old veteran system to play with. Woo. Let's see the skills we can pick up. Let's see, just for in general, picking up commander is a good one. Because it makes leaders and impressives cheaper. Let's see, do, 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 where are you? Do, 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 do. Yep, hiring, some, hiring new people is cheaper too. Always good. We can reduce training costs, because that will be important later on. We'll grab healer because treat because treatment of wounds is a pain, and haggler will increase this. We'll get more money for selling things. 
Now, what I would normally have done was I would go through, customize all of our people, give them names, customize the warbands, all that. However, since this is just a first episode, I decided usually what I would do in situations like this is I would name them after subscribers. I've got a fair few of those nowadays, and I kind of want to give priority to those who speak up and want to and actually recommend names for themselves and what's if they want to be and try and give them priority like if they want to be a hero or if they want to be henchmen or something of the like let's see did it do in this case cuz we've got we got some freebies we can go with but I think we'll pick up the Templar Knights as our first hero. The younger children of noble lords or the deposed heirs of conquered domains, Templar Knights often seek a position for themselves by offering service to the temples of mankind's gods. Those who serve Sigma usually end up in the war warband of a witch hunter captain, granted the chance to prove the sincerity of their faith by giving battle to the creatures of chaos. Armed and armoured in the finery befitting their noble birth, Templar knights are nevertheless untested warriors, and their lack of exp experience can make them over-eager in combat. So the benefits of them is always fight to the death, prevents the use of flee and retreat actions, so he can't, once he's in combat, he's stuck, and unwavering, all immune, immune to all alone, fear, and terror tests. So we have our hero. As for our potential henchmen, we could. We can pick up either a flagellant or the zealot. Men who have suffered great losses, who have family, had families and fortune taken from them, sometimes find that faith in Sigma is all they have left. Casting aside the shambles of their old lives, they become zealots. Painful. Ven vengeful pilgrims on a quest to destroy the means of chaos wherever they can be found. Many zealots were peasants or craftsmen and lack the martial experience of mercenaries, but what they do have is bitterness and rage. These are qualities that cause witch hunters to recruit them, harnessing their fa fanaticism to visit vengeance upon the evil infesting Mordheim. Let's see, axe, dagger, hammer, mace, spear, sword, halberd. Great axe, great hammer, great sword, bow, long bow, long bow and short bow, and cloth or a light armor with a shield, pendant, hel amulet, and helmet. Okay, and the fina the flagellant. Their minds unhinged by their conviction that the end times are upon the empire. Flagellants are fanatical madmen, madmen who wander the roads and byways of the provinces. They preach their apocalyptic visions wherever they go, scourging their own bodies with barbed whips and heavy chains in acts of ghastly self-mutilation. The crazed devotion that gives flagellants purpose likewise makes them terrifying warriors in metal, hurling themselves upon their foes in a frenzy of slashing frails. Many flagellants have been swayed by the sermons of witch hunters, joining their war bands in a holy crusade to cleanse Mordheim and restore Sigmar's grace to the land. So no ranged options. Cloth armor at best, so no armor. Not even a helmet. And they come with axe, dagger, frail, hammer, great axe, great frail, great hammer, or a mace. They come with a great, I believe they come with great frails by default. But in this case, we'll pick up you, pick up you, and you know what, we'll grab a second one. Because why not? And a quick look into what we have, have as far as options are concerned. Because I've got, got to remember, what can witch hunters actually... Because witch, witch hunter captain, let's see. Blunderbuss, crossbow, crossbow pistols, dueling pistol, handgun, hunting rifle, 
pistols, and a variety of weapons. Not bad. Let's visit the shop. We'll grab some we'll grab some heavy armor. And you know what? I feel like a cr I feel like a blunderbuss would be fun. It's a good time had by all. We'll also grab a helmet because you never know when those things can be useful. Now let's see. Do, do, do. Let's hang on, just checking what. Ah, so we're going to swap out the crossbow pistols for a blunderbuss. So effectively, we would have a cone, a cone of combat in this particular case, which is going to be f interesting. And as for weapons. Yeah, I'm happy to go to have to go with a sword. And just for the sake of it, we'll also pick up a shield. As for our hunter for now, have some heavy armor. Now we'll go. We'll just stick with the heavy armor for you for now. To be fair, we can also go heavy armor here too, which we might. Sword and shield. There we go. As for, can you guys wheel? Ah, uh, you, you guys can't actually wield a sword, can you? Though you can. Alright. Guess we'll go with that. Though I will do a quick thing. We, we will... I will do some customization in, the, in my own time. But... We now have Bright Ops, the cat, the Witch Hunter Captain. As I said before at the start, anyone who wants to be part of the Warband, please comment down, down below. And I will select names and do some customization to the best of ability. Campaigns. Yes, here we go. So our first options are Rivals in the Ruins, a normal marked for death. Very poor with both, but both warbands are around their wagon. Alright, so now the mark for death with paws. One divi is divided while the other is scattered randomly. And cash. Now the it's all three marked for death. So average stone, poor equipment, one or yeah, this seems good. We got our people. We'll go with what we got. Your scouts reported a secret cache of equipment in the ruins, but recovering it has become no easy task. Somehow, an enemy warband has learned of your plan. Worse, they're lying in wait and have deployed patrols to flank your warriors. Okay. So basically, this objective is basically to defeat the other warbands. Make them run or kill them all. Our secondary objective for this mission is marked for death, which means that one of the enemy has a, has a bounty token on them that we want to claim for ourselves. In this case, because we can tell from this as that the item in question is a token of Sigma, that we are up against another witch hunter warband. Now we get to dis well, since we're all going to be around our wagon, let's just have a quick look around the map. All right, it seems that all the wood stone is literally right in the center. And we are going to want to get that stuff. Uh, 
Alright, it's, it's been a while. It's been a long time since I've played this game, actually. And I will admit, I'm usually not so inclined to... Wait, are they there already? Little bastards. Oh well, I guess that just means we're gonna have to. We're just gonna have to kill them. Kill when we kill them and take their stuff. We can just grab some stone while we're there. Well, there they are. Let's see. Do we have our target? Not yet. And just for the sake of it, we will have you go on an ambush there. Just so if one of them comes up the stairs, we'll be get having the pounce on them. Because smacking someone in the face with a frail is surprisingly effective. Befuddling fumes, ranged hit chance has gone up, which should be, which should be great if we actually had someone who really used proper damn weaponry. Oh, hello. Well, there are two more people, so yay. One of whom is our target, the Knight Templar. So that's gonna be fun. Okay. Now we're gonna try and go... Yeah, here seems alright. Here seems kind of alright. Alright, because our people are all wearing heavy arm... our heroes are wearing heavy armor, they're pro they're somewhat slower than... they... they would normally be. Which, at this early junction, is probably not a good thing for us. Yeah, why not? A new round has started. We've got the doorway co covered with a blunderbuss, so we basically have a shotgun to work with. <laughs> oh, that's not good. <laughs> Still, we got the first strike, and their witch hunt, their captain is now somewhat exposed. So we can definitely make use of this. Because, yes, the witch hunter captain does not have immunity to being outnumbered. Kind of important, that. Alright, you're having an ambush. That's fine. We're just wailing on their ca on their main leader. Which him going down would go to go a long way towards weakening the enemy. Alright. Let's go with here. Wait, no, no, no. Because I want to... yeah, there. That will do. Because we're gonna let him come forward. Get jumped. 
Ooh, and surprised and stunned as well. Nice. Ah, and there goes our Templar, blocking, blocking off Sword Boy here before he could jo join in the f flagellants. Okay, no hit there. That's fine. Second strike. There we go. And we'll parry. Actually, we will be slightly more beneficial going for... Basically, literally just swapping for a melee build. A new round has started. Okay, you're going for more Wordstone. So, we do have to kill you. But it seems like you're coming up to tr No, you're trying to climb up something. And from the sounds of it failing... There we go, you failed. But because you can't try and run away, you're kind of pinned, you're just gonna stand there and die. Alright. Grab, grab, grab. Because, granted, it's not much, but it will do under the circumstances. And you can now go and make this guy's life a bit more complicated. You know what? That's fine. That is acceptable. Ish. Let's see. We could go for the fragments, but in this case we're gonna go big. Cluster. Cluster is beautiful. A bit of a shard as well. I believe there was another shard we can get our hands on. Perfect. Alright. There was that one guy who disappeared somewhere into the murk, and we're not entirely sure where he's gone. Alright, you're getting back up. That's okay. We, survi we can survive a hit. He, on the other hand, could not. Yeah. Objective completed. Yeah, we'll take that stuff. It's halfway. It's pretty salt decent equipment. So both their leaders are dead, and we have the their token. <laughs> So if nothing else, we have six. We have succeeded this mission pretty well. Everything on top of that is a bonus. All right, that missed. Annoying. And you dodged. Oh well. Doesn't matter. A new round has started. Alright, you got up and you're dodging because you can't do much else. Yeah. 
Alright, we're gonna just move here because if the guy does come up this way, we will get the ambush in. <laughs> Okay, anything good? Not really. So he can be left to his own devices. A little bit of bait. Let's just attack. Let's just do some damage. People going down does give some XP as well, so some early XP would be good. Smack. And can we get another blow in? Not only that, he's down. Nice. Yeah, we'll pick up a mace, why not? Hang on, let's try and... Out of curiosity, can we... There you are. Admittedly, we failed that, but... Oh well. Found the last guy. Alright, so we can't quite... Can't quite get to the th to the rest of the words, don't, but we could at least get a fragment. A new round has started. <laughs> and they weren't able to hold it together. They've lost too much. That guy was literally the last one down. Ooh, and we... Gods rare armor, heavy armor. That is a good thing to get early on. You are the instrument of Sigmar's justice, bringing his righteous wrath upon those who would sow their evil in the lands of men. Such work is the most sacred honor the faithful can embrace. It's nice to get good word after doing a good job. Because we just dominated there. Alright. So, because getting the extra additional objective gives you 3 XP, which... kind of important. Especially this early on. Alright. You're good. Because... Yeah, because each target you bring down is an additional... Is an addition... Oh, we got Most Valuable Warrior here. Good for you. And you took two enemies out, so... Pretty solid. For our first mission, damn good. Damn good work. And plenty of... And a decent amount of words down on top of that. Okay. So as I said, I'm hap as I said at the beginning, I'm happy to basically go through name people after subscribers who or people who just leave comments in the video down below. I will also do some customization, try and get some coloration and different appearances and all that as requested. Try and get a give a couple of colors for like try and do some base ones like red or blue or stuff like that because like each warband kind of has their own color customized color roster their little wheel and I'm not in control of that but until next time my name is Bright Ops and I look forward to hearing from you take care.